inch flange uh, on this tank today. I want to show you how I lay it out and how I do it. That way it make it easier for you to do in the field. So first thing we want to do is we want to take your gasket and you want to take either a grease pin or a Sharpie. Determine the location where the fitting is supposed to be. Uh, if the customer knows that, they can give you that indication, point it out. For training purposes, we're going to put it right here. So what I would do is I would lay the gasket out, make sure this level, and then you want to mark your bolt holes. All right. And then mark your center hole. All right, once you've marked the locations with your gasket, the next step will be to pilot your holes so that you can drill it properly. All right, so we're going to pilot our holes. Pilot your holes. Once you've got them piloted, next step is take a 5 8 drill bit, drill out your bolt holes. And you want to do a clean cut so you don't leave any burrs. All right, next step, take your hole saw. You have your pilot already piloted. Don't push or force. You want to let the bit cut for you because we don't want to leave burrs in anything when we're cutting into the tank. So take your time. Push straight in, don't wobble it. All right, as you can see, center hole's cut. We'll have to clean it up just a hair. All right, next step I like to do is I have a tool that's been made up to surface the face of the inside of the tank so that your gasket will actually get a better seal. As you can see here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it in the tank, pull it through the bolt hole and hook it to the drill bit. All right, once you get it through, you're gonna attach your drill to it. Hold it out. You want just enough that any imperfections can be surfaced out. And you'll be able to feel it. Once you put your hand in there, you'll actually be able to feel the surface area. Once you're done with that, just remove it and then go on and install in your flange. Reach through there, put it through the hole, and then you can actually put your nut on for now to hold that bolt in place while you're doing the others, okay? And you go around and do each one of those. And you don't have to do it all the way down, just enough to hold it in the hole. That way you don't have to worry about it falling in the, in the uh, bottom of the tank. There you go. Pull it through, hold it. There you go, just slightly put it on there. All right, so once you've done that, now all your bolts are in. What you can do is somebody, have two people, all right? So you can pull the nuts, you hold the studs, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the gasket on after the fact, okay? And normally, if it's just me by myself, I'll actually use nylon string to go around Nylon's each bolt. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what we'll do, don't push on the bolts, you just ease, ease it over the bolt holes. Line it up. Take your time. All right. Now the next step is just putting your flange on. All right, now we're gonna ease the flange on just like we did with the gasket. Don't catch it on your bolts, just take your time. Once it comes through, you can grab a hold to it and that's when you can put a, your flat lock and nut. There you go, and you can just do them hand tight. And the great thing with a two inch is you can reach through the fitting hole itself and hold, and hold to go ahead and tighten, hand tighten it all the way down if you want. That makes it a whole lot easier and it also helps with the flange from shifting. I like to go ahead and tighten them down with a ratchet, with a wrench. 
so they're at least hand tight with a wrench. All right. Next thing we've got is we got an impact. This impact is set up for 25 foot pounds, so no more than 25 foot pounds. So I like to use an impact to go ahead and hand tighten or tighten them down as well. Make sure you get that final. As you can tell, it's already there. Worst case, you just use a uh, wrench. Worst case, you can use a torque wrench if you need to go just a hair more. You said 25 foot. 25 foot pounds, and that's your flange.